Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. Today's video is going to be a quick review of face recognition model and firmware for K210 chip. Uh, the firmware and model is developed and published by Saipit, that's a Chinese company in Shenzhen. K210 chip is now used in a quite variety of the boards, uh, for example, Makes Dog, Makes Beat, Makes Go. Also, recently from M5 stack, there is M5 Stick V, which is also based on K210 chip. And upcoming Husky Lens from DF Robot also uses that chip, but it comes with their own proprietary hardware. I already made some videos about object detection and image recognition with K210. Now, face recognition neural network architecture is quite different from the above two, and I spent some time studying it from the information available on the internet. So, let me gently break this face recognition voodoo for you. Essentially, the facial recognition pipeline uses three models. First one to detect the face. Second one to detect the landmarks on the face, uh, which is essentially eyes, uh, nose, ears, and so on and so forth. Then we use this information about landmarks to align our face into standard position. So let's say my face is tilted like that right now, we calculate the position of landmarks and then align, align my face to uh, normal front-facing position. Uh, then the third model is used to calculate face feature vectors, which are simplified representations of person's unique face features. Those are basically a long string of numbers corresponding to that person's face features. Now, if we have two feature vectors, then we can calculate the Euclidean distance between them. And then, if it's sufficiently small, we conclude that this is in fact the same person in two images. It's really that easy. Now, let's have a look at the code. After usual boilerplate stuff, LCD in need, camera in need, blah blah blah, we have an infinite loop where we a detect a face, crop and resize it. Two, b input to landmark detection network, which gives us the coordinates of face landmarks, which we use to straighten the face by applying a fine transform. Then we calculate the feature vector with the third network and compare it with other vectors in the memory to find if the face in camera sufficiently resembles the face feature vectors stored in memory. The models are available to download at makeshub.com, link in description. They are free for personal use, but if you want to use them for commercial applications, you need to pay the license fee. The models and face encoding, face comparison code are not open source. Despite I myself don't really like that, but it is understandable. Saipi is a small Chinese company and they want to earn some money by licensing as well. If you are applying these models for personal project, then it doesn't matter for you much. If you have a commercial project where you would like to use face recognition, with K210 chip. There are two ways to do it. Well, first one is obviously buy license from Saipit and use their model and API. 
maybe even get their MF1 OEM module, which comes with infrared camera and liveliness detection, so it cannot be fooled by a picture of a person. Um, so this one is more geared towards business applications. Or the second way is to train the model and write low-level C code yourself. Out of these three models, face detection model is generally available. It's a very simple YOL V2 face detector. Face landmark detector is also fairly simple to train. But the third one, which is the face feature encoding model, is the most difficult of them all. Um, and my educated guess here is that they use face mobile net model for encoding face features uh, linked to models GitHub and training script in, in the description. If you're going in that direction and think you have enough technical skills, first of all, good luck. Second of all, you can contact me for some support and suggestions. That's about it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for your own project. Do you have any interesting ideas for using face recognition with microcontrollers? If yes, please share in the comments. Until the next time.